Hello, good afternoon everybody. How are you all doing today, this beautiful Sunday? Right now it's about 1 p.m. It's a Sunday, June the 5th in Istanbul. It's just gorgeous out today. We're not getting too much in the market that's moving, so I took the Sunday off and Saturday and a little bit of Friday and hung out with some people that actually visited me from outside of Istanbul, from my home city, Winnipeg. So my office is officially done for those that haven't seen it yet. This is where I'm trading from every single day now. Slowly adjusting and getting back into the new house here. So the new house is definitely coming along very nicely. Lots of renovations and settling in to do, which is going to require some time. But of course, with due time, it's going to be a haven for trading for me. Definitely one of the nicest offices that I've had in, uh, in forever. It's the nicest office by far that I've ever had. So I'm most likely going to get back to absolutely full-time trading on Monday because I'm very settled into the house now. Lots of the work is done. I've got no more company here. Everything is just on schedule. It's also the beginning of June, so it's the perfect time right now to end up getting back into the game. So right now, I've still got two slots available for the month. At the beginning of every single month, I've got this promotion that goes on where you're going to get a lifetime Discord with me. That's usually at least a two, $3,000 value just by itself, considering this will go on for a long time. The group is slowly growing every single day. It's very steady. There's a lot of members in it. So you're going to get a lifetime Discord membership with me to join me in my private trading Discord group. You're also going to get all 53 courses, all 53 lessons that's going to be included for course version 2.0. It's a highly expanded and updated trading course of mine with tons of reviews. It's at, now it's got over 4,000 reviews and 4.8 stars. That's the original course. This one's got tons of reviews as well, all positive. And there's also my second edition textbook that's going to be mailed out to you in about two weeks time. It's a 220 page hardcover textbook that's literally mailed out to you. This package is normally 1950. But it's on sale right now for only two more people that I have. It's going for 1050, which is 45% off. So I see, I hope to see the very last two people join my group. I've only got five slots of these available every single month, and there's no waiting list. And then after that, you gotta wait till the next month to get in. So please join right away. Especially if you're looking to take your trading to another level, if you're looking to get very serious about trading. Make sure that you sign up because there's no better person to trade and learn with as well. My apologies, I didn't even know I was not on camera here. So here we go, let's take a look at the market today and see just generally what's been trending. So Bitcoin has been doing absolutely fuck all to be honest for the past, for the past one day and 20 hours. So pretty much two full days now. We dropped down, hit the lower end, bounced back like 5% rallied the market a little bit fell right back down literally 100% retracement plus and now it's ranged literally 2.75% for the past two days roughly now so Bitcoin ended up breaking out of here as we all know already okay it broke out of this particular range a few days ago right around here okay it broke out there it looked like it was kind of descending a little bit but it definitely did break out at the 55 EMA. It rallied the market over 10%. Some altcoins ended up rallying much more. But now, of course, we're falling right back down to where we began. That's where the market is incredibly concerned. The yellow line here marked a resistance, which now turns into a support that bounced off of it twice now. So this is a no trade zone for me at all. I am not going to trade in this kind of sideways zone <clears throat> where we don't know the outcome and if you take a look at, for example, last month there, it finished off pretty bearish, right? Really bearish candle, but it doesn't mean that we're going to drop down. We've got some pretty bearish candles and we still rallied upwards. This hammer was like kind of in the middle, I'd say, for the weekly here. Like we're just about done the week, right? It's really indecisive. Right here, this histogram hasn't really moved. We haven't really gone much up in this week. Like we got rejected more than anything, if you're noticing, right? But this is an inverted pin bar. So will this actually mark some sort of reversal? Though this inverted pin bar is much more preferred at the bottom, okay? So right now the neutral RSI is all between 30 and 70, or 30 and 60 rather, on the three day, on the two day, on the daily, 
on the 12 hour, on the 6 hour, on the 5 hour, on the 4 hour, on the 3 hour, on the 2 hour, and the 1 hour. Every single RSI is literally sideways right now, so there's no point of even trying to trade this coin. You have to really know when to take a step back and when to not trade the market. Right now, it's not a, not a, not a period where you want to trade the market. Take a look on trading view here. Okay, you see on trading view that there's literally no coins that have moved down 10%. Okay, there's no coins that have moved up 10% here as well. So there's just absolutely no point of trading. You have to know when to stay out of the market. You can't just force these trades and start doing. Like I know some people in my Discord group. No offense to them, but you guys are doing literally Elliott wave analysis on a 15 second chart when the coin has moved like 1% all day. There's no point of that. You're not going to get anywhere with it. You're basically just doing TA on the coin that is just ranging sideways or just getting multiple failed waves there. So you have got to really take a step back and you got to know when to, when to let the setups come to you. There's no point of wasting your time. Right? You didn't get into crypto and trading to basically waste all of your time. You, you came into this game so you can have more time for yourself. And more time for yourself means knowing when to walk away from the computer, walk away from trading view, and just stay away from those trades until things can happen. Some days you're gonna see me make an immense profit. Some days you're gonna see me make no profit. As long as you're waiting for the right setups to come, you cannot force these trades. I know many people that just have this itch to be in a trade. And if you've got that itch to be in a trade, it's just not going to work out because you're going to constantly try to have your money in something. And with that happening, unfortunately, you may not find the best setups and you'll end up taking more risk. So right now, as it stands for Bitcoin, there's literally nothing going on right now that I can even report. It's like the daily, like, you know, oh, fuck this. It's just so sideways right now, like in this entire market, you got to see it as sideways. Like... Like this congestion was really annoying too. Like this one here near the very end where it was just kind of slowly dropping 17%. Like this one in July, I'm talking about last year, where it literally dropped like 18% over 16 days. That was really annoying. And sometimes you get you get massive congestion, right? Like this one here, 14% over 30 days until something eventually happened. This one here too, it's like, it was just itching for a breakout eventually and then it happened, right? above there you got to really be patient with these setups unfortunately really patient and eventually something could happen this guy here this where i'm showing you now took 51 days to break out right and then when it broke out it went out to monsters monster highs so it's important to exercise that patience and let the trades come to you trust me when i say if you keep taking these trades that are not good ones you're going to be putting your money at risk and it's just Horrible. So let's take a look at Crypto Screener, uh, Crypto Loom, and see what's been going on with that. So taking a look at Crypto Loom here, you're seeing that the market is pretty bullshit right now. Like Bitcoin's got a bunch of buyers, so it says, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it. The volume on MTL went up about 500% there, right? 500% of big volume gain in one day. So let's just take a look at MTL and see what the heck has been happening with it so far. All right, so it rallied like right here. All right, big whoop did he do? It rallied 16%, but how the heck are you gonna trade that? It's like really hard to catch that, you know? In two hours, 16%, that's a big rally, I have to admit, but it's hitting a resistance up here right now, right? So is it trying to smash this resistance? Will it smash it? So you see some really positive volume up there. So MTL is a pretty decent coin. Look at our side, 24 hour, nothing is above 70, nothing is really below 30. Uh, now the four hour nothing above 70 nothing below 30 30 minute the exact same thing anything volume wise pick up in four hours nope nothing even moved by greater than two percent that's shitty so it's another really slow day like what so what what would qualify as a really volatile day well first of all a volatile day would mean that bitcoin is moving if bitcoin is moving you're going to see these columns here on trading view you're going to see them light up green and they're going to be in the double digit percentages when you don't see a double digit percentage move, right? when you see actually almost every single coin is red or barely moving, that's when you know it's a very slow day. If a coin is moving in the double digits, you're gonna know that, hey, maybe this is a coin that I can possibly move to because you're hunting for volatile coins. You want that volatility so you can have more room to capitalize on these, small, on these movements. 
So if the coin moved 20%, for example, maybe you can catch even 5 or 10% of that 20%. So 10% of 20 right, is still 2%. Even if you caught 2%, or 10% of that, which is only 2%, you're still uh, you're still going to be able to make a pretty decent profit. So let's just say you end up catching 10% of a 5% move, right? Well, 10% of 5% is 0.5. So it's much smaller. So you want to focus on these volatile coins because they gain, they allow you to get into a trade with a bigger, I guess, a bigger margin for a possible error and more room to capitalize on it as well. So then on the volatile day, you're going to see volume just skyrocket, right? You're going to see volume just really way, be more than 100%, be more in the green than in the red. You're going to see, for example, a 30-minute chart RSI really peak up there in overbought, right? Or oversold. It could be a bearish run as well. Or in the four-hour, you're going to see it really high as well. So I'm not seeing any possible rallies right now, and there's nothing to really report other than Bitcoin's just dead right now. And we're waiting for it to do something so all coins can react accordingly as well. You just simply cannot force a trade. I'm telling you, I've seen guys once again that are doing literally Elliott Wave Theory on a 1% moving coin over 24 hours on a 15 second chart. You just gotta ask yourself, WTF are these guys doing? Like, go do something else with your time. It's just pointless. So anyways, that's kind of all that I can report for today. Seems like yesterday I really didn't miss much either or Friday. And um, today definitely didn't miss anything at all. So I look forward to having a lot of you guys join me for this. Okay, there's two slots left for this. Just check out my tweet or the description in below. And I hope to see the last two people join me for my Discord group for the second edition book and also to get the course version 2.0 full. Bye now. I keep waving over there because the camera used to be over there. So this is my current setup now. It's pretty pretty nice here, I gotta admit. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty nice. Like I can't complain about it. It's it's beautiful setup here actually so anyways that's kind of it for now i'll talk to you guys later thank you very much for watching my video bye now take care